Alexa, and I'm one of the writers at the Mommy Dialogues, and today I'm going to show you how to use a Diddy tie, which is a rap conversion May tie made by Diddy Most. It essentially is, is a May tie made from a woven wrap, which is not stretchy, so it's nice and sturdy, and today we're going to show you how to use it for a back carry. And the one I'm using today is their latest version, which has a much higher back than the previous version, so it's great for bigger babies like my son Atticus and toddlers even. But you can still use itty bitties that are, you know, 27 inches and 14 and a half pounds like Chris's daughter Harper. So you're just going to tie it around your waist and then you're going to grab your baby. You can get your baby out here. Oh, it's okay. Atticus wants in that carrier bad. So anyways, you're going to get them on your back however you see fit. This is kind of the beginner's way to get them on your back, so it's kind of a super safe way to do it, where you're not like super manning them over your head, and you just kind of scooch them over, which they tend to really enjoy. There's normally laughing happening at this point. You're going to pull the rails. I like to have Atticus higher, but you can have them lower if you prefer. And you can do one of two ways. I'm going to show you crisscrossing in front first. So you crisscross the front, they go over one side of their butt, under the other, and then repeat. And then you're going to tie in front. And before you can be all done and ready, you're going to spread it over your chest. And then over their butt, you just want to make sure that the rails are spread so it's like fully supporting their weight. Otherwise, it can feel like you're just holding, you know, 30 pounds on your back. And Atticus is nice and chunky. He's 25 pounds and 30 inches, and he's very well supported in this wrap. And when they get tired, you can lift this over them. 